Hey everyone, a new paper, QA LoRa, Quantization Error, Low Rank Adaptation of Large Language Models. This has just been published only a few days back and it's an absolutely brilliant one. So this method is for faster low GPU LLM training and combines parameter efficient fine tuning used in LoRa with parameter quantization in a new way with substantial efficiency gains which is lower computation, faster inference, and lower memory requirements. Of particular interest uh, that it performs very well with low parameter models and low bit models like 2-bit where it appears to be SOTA. Now potentially uh, this will be huge for running Falcon 180B on home hardware. Now for the background, uh, let's quickly go over two of the basic fundamental concepts before going through this paper which is uh, LoRa and quantization and also QLoRa. So LoRa or low rank adaptation is an improved fine tuning method where instead of fine tuning all the weights that constitute the weight metrics of the pre-trained large language model, LoRa involves injecting trainable low rank matrices into each layer of the transformer architecture. So LoRa aims to reduce the number of trainable parameters and the computational burden while maintaining or improving the model's performance on downstream tasks. Now low rank matrices are a fundamental concept in linear algebra and machine learning. They are matrices that can be factored into the product of two smaller matrices often with fewer rows and columns compared to the original matrix. So under LoRa by representing a weight matrix as the product of two low rank matrices, the total number of parameters can be slightly reduced. The underlying principle of LoRa is that, that uh, the pre-trained model's weights are already close to the optimal solution for the downstream task. Thus, LoRa freezes the pre-trained model's weights and focuses on optimizing trainable low rank matrices instead. Now, despite the comparable performance to full parameter fine tuning, the memory usage of LoRa is still very large, especially when the base LLM is large, for example, Lama 65B. Now, the next concept is QLoRa. So, QLoRa is an even more memory efficient version of LoRa where the pre trained model is loaded to GPU memory as quantized 4 bit weights compared to 8 bits in the case of LoRa, while preserving similar effectiveness to LoRa and then comes this paper LoRa which is but despite the comparable performance to full parameter fine tuning the memory usage of LoRa is still quite large especially when the base LLM is very large for example Lama 65B and then the next one that you probably already know, which is QLoRa. In the QLoRa, uh, that's an even more memory efficient version of LoRa where the pre-trained model is loaded to GPU memory as quantized 4-bit weights compared to 8 bits in the case of LoRa, while preserving similar effectiveness to LoRa. And then comes this paper, QA LoRa. So, uh, so QA LoRa takes this progress to even higher place. QA LoRa also quantizes the LoRa adapter's weight, avoiding a costly conversion of the quantized base weights back to 16-bit when adding to the adapter weights. QA LoRa takes this progress to even higher plane. Under QA LoRa, we quantize the LoRa adapter weights, avoiding the costly conversion of the quantized base model weights back into 16-bit when adding the adapter weights. Now going to the abstract. Now going through the abstract of this paper. Uh, recently, years have witnessed uh, a rapid development of large language models. Despite the strong ability in many language understanding tasks, the Heavy computational burden largely restricts the application of LLMS, especially when one needs to deploy them onto edge devices. In this paper, we propose a quantization error low rank adaptation algorithm. The motivation lies in the imbalanced degree of freedom of quantization and adaptation. And the solution is to use group wise operators 
which increases the degrees of freedom of quantization meanwhile decreasing that of adaptation. QLora is easily implemented with a few lines of code and it equips the original LoRa with two-fold abilities. During fine-tuning, the LLMS weights are quantized into int4 to reduce time and memory usage. And after fine-tuning, the LLM and auxiliary weights are naturally integrated into a quantized model without loss of accuracy. Now, let's go back to uh, this particular phrase they have used that um, uh, oh, the imbalanced degree of freedom of quantization and adaptation. So there is a contrast or there is a subtle fight between these two uh, terms that they have mentioned. So let's understand what they are actually. So the term degree of freedom in this context refers to the extent to which certain parameters or variables can change during the process of quantization and adaptation. Essentially, it denotes the flexibility or variability allowed in this process. And uh, quantization is a method to map a large set of values like floating point numbers to a smaller set like integers to save memory and computation. The precision is reduced in this process and hence the degree of freedom are reduced as each original values can now only take on one of a lesser set of values. Adaptation on the other hand is about fine tuning the model to better suit a particular task or data set. Adaptation might require a higher degree of freedom as it requires the adjustment of model parameters to learn task specific representation. The phrase imbalanced degrees of freedom that is what they have used imbalanced degrees of freedom of quantization highlights a conflict between the aims of quantization and adaptation. While quantization seeks to compress the model by reducing degrees of freedom, adaptation seeks to fine-tune the model which might require maintaining or even increasing the degrees of freedom. The QA LoRa algorithm attempts to balance this imbalance by employing group-wise operators. These operators help in increasing the degree of freedom during quantization while reducing it during adaptation, striking a balance that allows for both model compression via quantization and effective fine-tuning via adaptation. So that's a point they are trying to say over here, imbalanced degrees of freedom of quantization and adaptation. Now coming back to the paper again, uh, so, uh, as we discussed, the original problem is of a high memory usage even while we are implementing LoRa or, and uh, quantization. So, the, this paper says a naive solution uh, for this problem is to perform post-training quantization, PTQ that is, after PEFT, but it reports unsatisfying accuracy especially when the quantization bit width is low. And hence, in this paper, we propose a simple yet effective method for quantization our low rank adaptation, QA LoRa that is. Our idea is based on the imbalanced degrees of freedom for quantization and, and adaptation. Specifically, each column of the pre-trained weight matrix is accompanied by only one pair of scaling and zero parameters but many more LoRa parameters. This imbalance not only results in large quantization er errors which harm the LLM's accuracy but also makes it difficult to integrate the auxiliary weights into the main model. QL LoRa addresses the issues by introducing group-wise operators which increase the degrees of freedom of low bit quantization. That is, each group is quantized individually and decreases that of LoRa. And about the evaluation of this algorithm, QA LoRa consistently outperforms Q LoRa with PTQ that is post-training quantization on top of LLMAs of different scales. The advantage becomes more significant when the quantization bit with this lower and is on par with Q LoRa without PTQ. Note that during inference, QA LoRa has exactly the same complexity as Q LoRa with PTQ and is much more efficient than Q LoRa without PTQ. Hence, QA LoRa serves as an effective and off the shelf method for joint quantization and adaptation of LLMS. And you can actually see this uh, graph uh, for the evaluation metrics. 
So the red line here is QA LoRa, which is uh, at 4 bit, and the blue is Q LoRa, 4 bit and 16 bit, and uh, the yellow one is Q LoRa, 4 bit. And we can see that uh, for uh, for this one, that is uh, Q LoRa versus Q LoRa in 3 bit. It uh, Q, QA LoRa is almost at the same level and actually it's slightly better 61.5. Let me zoom in. Yeah, 61.5 uh, compared to Q LoRa. And then now for the left side graph, which is for the 4 bit evaluation between Q LoRa and QA LoRa, uh, here the QA LoRa is slightly lower performing. The performance is slightly lower 62.5 versus 63.0 for Q LoRa. But uh, let's look at the even lower bit that is at 2 bit. Here is where Q LoRa, QA LoRa really shines. Here 54.4 uh, uh, which is uh, a much improved performance of QA LoRa compared to 50.7 for Q LoRa. And here is the overall architectural overview and comparison between LoRa, QLoRa, and QA LoRa. So they say that compared to prior adaptation methods, LoRa and QLoRa, our approach is computationally efficient in both the fine tuning and inference stages. More importantly, it does not suffer an accuracy loss because post training quantization is not required. We display int4 quantization in the figure but QA LoRa is generalized to int3 and int2 and uh, then they have uh, given the pseudo code for uh, implementing this uh, in PyTorch. So first uh, quickly take a look at this method pre-quantization. Uh, so here uh, in the expression w hat equal to torch dot round w divided by alpha the weights w are divided by alpha to scale them down then rounded to the nearest integer this rounding operation is actually the form of a quantization after rounding beta is added to shift the values and in the next line the return alpha multiplied by w hat minus beta uh, this expression uh, undoes the earlier shift by subtracting beta then multiplying by alpha rescales the values back to their original scale but now they are quantized because of the rounding operation this way the function outputs quantized weights that have the same scale as the original weights but with reduced precision due to the rounding operation now the question is what is the purpose of doing this line alpha multiplied by w hat minus beta. So the expression, uh, this expression uh, in the pre-quantization function is crucial for achieving the quantization of the weights while keeping the operation reversible and centered around the original values. Uh, let's break down the purpose here. So uh, the first concept is debasing. The term w hat minus beta, that is uh, this one, is essentially debasing or reversing the shift applied to the rounded values in the previous step. Because in the previous step, we added beta. And then the multiplication by alpha, that is this term here, is rescaling the debiased values back to their original scale. When w was initially divided by alpha the range of values was compressed by multiplying by alpha again the range of value is expanded back to the original scale albeit in a quantized manner due to the rounding operation performed earlier now uh, noting again that the uh, rounding operation that is uh, this line torch dot round w divided by alpha then add beta to the whole expression this is the actual quantization step However, this quantization is performed in a scaled down domain due to division by alpha. The expression alpha multiplied by w hat minus beta brings the quantized values back to the original domain. So the overall goal of these uh, pre-quantization method, uh, that is this whole operation, is to quantize the weights in a way that preserves the original scale and centers of the weights which can be crucial for maintaining the model's performance post quantization. And in summary, the expression alpha multiplied by w hat minus beta is undoing 
the initial scaling and shifting while keeping the quantized nature of the weights intact which is central to the quantization process described in the pseudocode and now coming back to uh, this important method here qa lora forward so first uh, we apply or invoke pre quantization method that we discussed discussed earlier uh, and we get w tilde and then the input x is then matrix multiplied with w tilde here in this line and the next line that is this result plus equal to this line uh, this line computes a low rank adapted term by applying the average pooling qa to x then scaling it and then performing matrix multiplication with lora a and lora b both transposed and this term is then scaled by s that is a letter s over here and added to the result so let's uh, try to understand this line a little bit more because there's a uh, the whole crux of the story is pretty much included in this line here so uh, uh first is average pooling the operation qax that is uh, this particular expression here applies average pooling to the input x remember we de define the qa over here at the very first line coming from nn dot average pool 1d so this operation reduces the spatial dimension of x by averaging the values in each group where the group size is defined by d underscore in divided by l the pooling operation can uh, help to reduce the data's dimensionality and capture the essential information in x and uh, the pooled output that is a qax this one is uh, scaled by multiplying it with d underscore in by l this scaling could be aimed at compensating for the reduction in magnitude that occurs during the pooling operation thereby maintaining a consistent scale and then uh, the concept of low rank matrix factorization so lora a transpose 0 1 and lora b transpose 0 1 performs matrix multiplication with transposed version of lora a and lora b essentially computing a low rank adapted term and then finally scaling by s the entire expression is uh, scaled by the letter s which is described as the coefficient for adaptation in the pseudocode this scaling might be controlling the impact of the low rank adaptation term on the final result and uh, finally the computed low rank adapted term is then added to the result with this plus equal to operator so this addition introduces a form of regularization or adaptation to the model allowing it to better fit the data or perform the desired task so by combining quantization and low rank adaptation in this manner the qa lora algorithm aims to reduce the computational burden and memory requirements through quantization while also enabling effective fine tuning or adaptation through low rank adaptation of the model this uh, dual functionality is critical for deploying large language models on resource constrained environments such as edge devices while maintaining a high level of performance they uh, have given the github repo uh, i think at the very top uh, yeah uh, here so you should definitely go there and check out the actual implementation of the code in more detail if you are interested otherwise i will end the video right here and i do think this uh, qa lora will be another huge push to uh, to be able to run large language models at home with a single gpu setup so this is a great great development in my opinion